During COVID, I had a lot of time to kind of just reflect on what was important to me. And that kept going back to family and, you know, being supportive, compassionate, and to my students throughout COVID was something that I felt was really important. I kept going back to these words of compassion, of unity, of love, and justice. And I felt like those were like the words that I wanted to pass on. I was teaching virtually for a whole year. And I was trying to come up with um, ideas to share with my students about materials that they might have around the house that they could actually make art with. Coffee was one of the first things that I that I tried. So this piece is actually made with the underpainting of coffee. And then I just went back into it with pen and ink and built off of sort of the random structure that was there. I got experimental. I moved away from having to draw something in particular. I went back to pulling things from my dreams. I like this idea of using fire to represent combustion that kind of boils something down to its most essential parts in like a philosophical way. All of these have the little furnace in them. I thought, wait, I've been using the idea of fire. Why don't I actually paint with fire? I figured out that just lemon juice and water on paper was kind of like painting with invisible ink. So I would paint words and then um, those words could be emerged by putting a flame underneath of the page and they kind of burn into existence, which was really kind of magical. It also connected to a childhood game that I played with my sister where we used to write messages to each other on our backs and you would write one letter on top of the other and you would have to, you know, the other person would have to guess what you were saying and try to interpret the words through our own bodies. So I actually made a video of that process and I called it Fire Code, Pass It On. It's a childhood game, it kind of made it, you know, it connected it to something playful and experimental and innocent. And, you know, words often are loaded and as you grow up, they're not as fun anymore.